Hi, I'm Jason Matthews, owner of Matthews Painting Company near Warsaw, Indiana. We continue our tutorial videos that we show each of our new employees who we train to become professional painters. Today we're going to discuss some additives that we actually use in paint, and I'll explain why we do that. This will be a pretty quick video. So our first additive is made by the Flood Company, and I believe now PPG owns this company but that's really not too relevant for this video. But this is called a bond, and this comes in quarts or it also comes in gallons. And the di label directions are in the back, but you add quite a bit of this per gallon of exterior solid stain on decks. And so that really is the only place we use that. Some use this in exterior paints that they use just on wood homes, for example. All this is, is a, it's a bonding additive. It's like making paint more of a primer. It adds more glue in the paint, if you will. So it helps paint really grab, or it helps solid stains, solid water-based stains, really grab onto the surface and hold on better. This is only to go in water-based paints, like 100% acrylic solid stains is what we would use them in. So we use a lot of times Super Deck Solid Stain from Sherman Williams or we've used Arbor Coat Solid Stain from Benjamin Moore. And we like to put this Emulsabond in the first coat. So this does not need to go into the second coat of Solid Stain, but it needs to go in the first coat. It doesn't need to, we do it because it just adds better bonding and our jobs hold up better. And there are label directions, as I mentioned, on how much to add per gallon and it's quite a bit. It's a little bit surprising on how much they actually tell you to add. I don't remember exactly, but I believe it's close to one quart per gallon of solid stain, but that's just something you'd want to read all these fine details, but a one quart per gallon of solid stain. So at Matthews Painting Company, we are only going to be using it in those two products right now and only on decks. And so that would be in the Arbor Coat Solid Stain or the Super Deck Solid Stain. Here we've got a couple additives we don't really use in this company. One's from Titan, which is an airless spraying company. And this is a M1, it's a latex paint additive. We're gonna set those aside. Really these are to help paint level down, slow the drying process a little bit so that you do not see as many brush marks and so paint doesn't get so sticky on you. These work for that, kind of, that's my opinion. We do prefer to stick with the Flood Company. It's not because we're advertising for Flood. But what we have here is that bonding additive. Here, we actually have leveling agents. We're gonna call these leveling agents. So one's called Penetrol, and this is added into oil-based paints. You could also add it into oil-based primers that are just really, really sticky. So if it's a windy day or it's a hot day outside and you're one of those that still uses oil base, or if you're inside and you're just seeing your brush marks or it's just gumming up and getting too sticky, this will help oil base paint flow better. It's almost like, it almost feels like you've added butter. It just makes it like really smooth. It's not sticky anymore. It slows down the drying. The advantage of that is it slows it down so that your brush marks or your roller marks or roller texture slowly start dissipating and they just almost disappear. And so it almost looks like you sprayed a door or a piece of trim since you had Penetrol in it. I will tell you, we hardly use oil bases here in this company anymore. So you're, we're really not going to be using this much except for an oil based primers when we do use those. This is what we're going to be using almost every other job, if not every job. And so what this is, is it does the same thing as the Penetrol, but you use this in water-based paints, much like this bonding additive and water-based solid stains or, salt or paints. We use this on interior water-based paints. And so this also helps paint go further. So for example, if you were brushing and you went about this far with your brush, if you use Floetrol, you get about double that, or maybe 30% more before you have to go and dip into your container again. So it helps the paint go a little further. It also helps brush marks and the roller texture or roller nap or orange peel, whatever you want to call it. It helps that dissipate as well. Because many times we're in a hot house, we're working up high, 
or you have air conditioning vents or heater vents kind of blowing near the wall and paint's drying a little bit too quick. And so we would add Flowetrol into that. So I'm just gonna add a little bit into this bucket to show you. Now we would also add this into the roller pan that has paint and the bucket just to kind of get a similar mix of each. But you always shake it because it does separate. So we're gonna shake this up a little bit. If you wanna come over to see how much paint I have in my uh, cut bucket here, we call these cut buckets. They also are called handy propel liners. But you can kind of see down in here where I mix that up and it's looking like milk. If I didn't mix that up, it gets kind of clear on the top. And I want to show you about how much paint's in here so that you at home, if you had a one gallon container, you can see how much paint's in this bucket. So come above the camera here above the bucket and you can see I've got about an inch and a half of paint in there. And I just got paint on my table. So I always like to have a little mess up there. Thankfully it's my table, so I'll fix that later. So you got about an inch of paint in there. So here's about how much Floetrol I start out with. We don't necessarily measure it. So maybe there was like a quarter cup in there and we just start mixing it up. And what that does is we're conditioning this wall paint. This is water base, 100% acrylic paint. And it's not like watering down the paint. This is a conditioner and it just helps those brush marks and roller marks level down a little bit. And that, uh, that's it. That's our additive. So hopefully you like what you saw. Give us a thumbs up on our YouTube page if you did. And uh, for more information, you can contact us at MatthewsPainting.com.